This drone we position as a Shahed destroyer. It has a maximum speed of 355 kilometers per hour. Today we're holding a demo day on the topic of bombers carrying 5 kilograms for 15 kilometers and FPV drones carrying 1 kilogram for 40 kilometers. This event is driven by a large number of requests from representatives of the Defense Forces, specifically regarding the drone's physical capability to carry weight over the corresponding distance. Our new drone version is currently in development. It's built on the basis of a 15-inch drone with 21-inch propellers. The drone can carry 15 kilograms for 10 kilometers, 7 kilograms for 30 kilometers, and 1 kilogram for 70 kilometers. Anti-aircraft drones are currently in demand, starting with smaller ones like this. This drone is designed to take down reconnaissance wings, like the Zala Orlin. Its maximum speed is up to 250 kilometers per hour. Its cruising speed is around 180 kilometers per hour. It's an effective tool for taking down reconnaissance drones. And let's say it's not exactly a copy, because this drone was more inspired by it, but we position this drone specifically as a Shahed destroyer. Shaheds are currently one of our biggest problems. Since this drone has a maximum speed, 100 kilometers per hour, higher than that one, specifically tested at 355 kilometers per hour, it allows us to engage targets like Shaheds. First, we test everyone and provide information about all manufacturers in a classified format. We distribute this information through Delta. Then, we provide more detailed information directly to those Defense Forces representatives who requested this measure. We check if, perhaps, some other communication integration is needed, different from what's already available. If so, we facilitate collaboration between the drone manufacturer and the communication provider so they can tailor the, the drone specifically for that task. After that, the unit starts working with the manufacturer in uh, whatever form is available or convenient for them. We have two common problems, components, because delivery, if from China, takes two months, which is a long time before production can start. Besides that, these components need to be checked, tested, and verified at a testing range. Well, let's say we're already at a point where about 50% of components can be switched to Ukrainian ones. If they're already at the final stage of some testing, they'll say, here comes the military testing. And then they can, roughly speaking, be accepted for mass production. More than 50%, actually 100%, are imported components. We're moving in the direction of replacing Chinese, or rather, imported components as much as possible. Here, we're showcasing our achievements. This includes starting with communications, specifically our digital systems, which we equip our products with. We produce the main drone components, namely the stacks, that is, the flight controller and speed regulator. Additionally, we have power distribution boards. We really want two-thirds of all equipment to be produced by us, meaning us as Ukrainian manufacturers in our drones and other colleague manufacturers as well. This is literally a matter of months before our products are equipped with our own components, not imported ones. Наші комплектуючі, а не імпортні.